Hey, how's it going to Chef Dale? I'm Josh Christopher's private chef. And this is what we do in the morning here at the Christopher House. So what we got here is a, uh, I call it the uh, ultimate breakfast sandwich, okay? Um, it's got a little bit of roasted garlic aioli in there. Um, I had a little butter and a little kosher salt, turkey bacon, and some seasoned eggs. We top that with some arugula. It's the most incredible thing you'll ever have in your life, okay? I call it the ultimate breakfast sandwich. <laughs> but for him, okay, for him, he gets that 3,000 calorie a day diet. This is fun. For the rest of us, for him, it's work, but it's still delicious, ultimately delicious. <laughs> <clears throat> no sasuke. I see what's going on, man. Chef Dale. <laughs> Chef Dale. Uh, dress it up. Make it Don't real quick. Like, absolutely. <laughs> Chef has been, like prepared healthy stuff, but like with a Chef Dale kick to it. So like, I haven't even, I, I snack a lot. I used to order food a lot. I still do it once in a while, but for the most part, you know, having him here, I haven't had to do too much, but go to the fridge and grab stuff when he cooks. I just come sit down and eat it. He ain't missed yet. He ain't missed. So. <laughs> <laughs> These make things real easy for me just to, I guess, swim up. You know, not really have bad How you say what's my, uh, what's my, 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 uh, what, what do you call it? Your ratio of points per game? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, his points, yeah, points per game. I mean, if, if, I, if we had to compare his work to like basketball, you could show him like a triple double, like hey. 30, 30, 10, <laughs> 8. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Chef Del D book. <laughs> Chef Del <Dale> book. <laughs> Max. Word. Yeah, you doing this thing though. So this is like like the best shape I've been in, like the most slim I've been, like ever. So yeah. it's results. So I guess sticking to the same plan. This has been working all three drives, doing the same stuff, routine, routine, routine. So just simple. Yeah. It's still a new thing, you know? I mean, you're only four in, so what, what would you say, like, the most? I would probably, I, I would say, like, the hardest thing. I mean, I think I think they really try to, like, kill you, so, like, you tired. So, like, still, like, knowing that you got to breathe. So, like, that's what I do. Like, I'm telling you, like, the Washington workout, they, they tried to kill us. There's only two of us, <laughs> so, like, it was literally just us. So it was, like, a real workout. So, like, so just kind of, taking deep kind of, breaths, yeah, just... Yeah, right on, right on. Keep it, keeping the mental, yeah. That's what I'm saying, but people always be like questioning. <laughs> I won't say like the love for the game, but I guess like the care for it like, and the grind of it, bro. We've been going hard forever. Like, bro, me and Caleb done busted sick missions. We done walked like an hour to the gym. Like, you feel me? Like, I promise you, in Lancaster in the Bacon Sun. Uh, we, and we would be there, but we'd be, well, we'd be in that 24 hour fitness, bro, till like 2 a.m., bro. We was like 12 and 13. Like, my dad would literally have to post up until by 2 a.m., until we came out of the gym. I promise you, when we was like 11 and 12 years old playing with grown men, like, we used to shut that gym down at a young age. All the men was grown, bro. One, two. Go again from the top. Yep. Boom. Cross between. One. Behind. No, no, no. Double crossover. Now between. Cross between again. One, two. Crossover. Crossover. Between. Cross between. Behind. 
shift, shift. Yep, that's it, let's go. Uh-huh, boom, one, two, ha, 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 behind, shift, shift, yep, boom. Same, same, yep. same, same hand. hand, same hand, it should be same hand. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, shift, shift, yep, again. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, boom, one more, and then we're gonna walk with it. Uh-huh, 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 behind, shift, shift, now walk with it, let's go. Stay now, stay low. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Boom. Boom. Today, focus just to maintain, you know, he's been traveling, he's been in three different states in the last 72 hours, you know. Um, it just basically getting our reps up, but make, toning it down and not really increasing the workout because he's about to leave tomorrow to go to another workout. Just maintaining what we have been working on for the past two and a half months. Game is simple. The game is simple. Let's go. Nice. Up. Boom. Now. Right? People make the game hard. The game ain't hard. The game is simple, right? Keep it simple. We want to be the, we be efficient. Everything we do, we want to be efficient, right? We don't, we don't need, we don't need the, the show. We don't need none of that, right? So now we're going to come down, same thing. Whatever you want. Ha ha. Get here. Oh, swing through this way. Boom. We right into the shot right there. All right? Let's go. Up. So we call nice. it gumbo. So why I call it gumbo is just like the seafood. I'm from the south. It got a little bit of everything in it. You don't know what's in it, but at the end of the day, after it's done, it, it just tastes good. So at the end of the day, we have capitalized on everything that we want to work on. And so when he leaves, he done hit everything it's supposed to hit in the game of basketball and with his reads and knowing where he's supposed to be and all the shots that he will be getting in game-like situations. Get it up. Um, I would say he learns best by demonstrating what you're going to show him. I'm real a firm believer of trainers and coaches who can actually do what they're trying to get these kids to do, right? You can say you want to do it, but Josh is one of the type when he's a visual learner, but he's also a young man who goes back and watch film on all his opponents, goes back and watch film on himself, and we have broke film down with pickup games, we have broke film down from Arizona State. Uh, he's a kid that would just want to get better. Nice, and after you go behind, throw one more dribble out there and run, and go get it, all right? There you go, up. Now look at your look at the distance between where we started and where we at. Now we'll know you now you know you got that. You ain't gotta fade. You can just go straight up, straight down. You already got him beat. There you go, up. Ah, right there. Good balance. One more. Maximize what he has. Maximize the God-given talent that he has. And when you have a player like that. It's so easy to work with because every day he comes in, he put his hard hat on and he goes to work. And with him, you show him once, he picks it up. And if he does again, he'll stop you and be like, yo, can you show me again what you have seen in the demonstrations since we've been working? He has stopped a couple of times like, yo, let me make sure I get that detail right. He's very detailed in everything that he does. Goes here. Don't lose it. Control it. He competes. Uh, what separates Josh is he's always going to compete. He's not going to run from anything. He wants to compete. He wants to play against whoever they say is better than him. He wants to match up against them. Um, and he loves the game of basketball. And when you love the game of basketball, you're not going to disrespect the game of basketball. So every time he steps in between those lines, I've never had to tell him, pick up your pace. Come on, let's go, Josh. Let's get to work. He, when he comes in in the gym, he is away from everything and he's locked into these in between them lines like for that hour we're going dumb hard and I've never had to tell him not to pick this pace up so that's what separates him and he loves the game and he's a student of the game which is rare because a lot of people just play the game and don't watch the game and don't actually want to learn the game he actually wants to learn the game and, and become one of the great ones to play
he's, you know, he's coming to us for NBA pre-draft. Um, so pretty much when his first day here, we do an evaluation, full body evaluation, and to kind of see, you know, how his body looks, you know, where he's at, you know, what his goals are, and if there's, if he's coming in with anything. But he came in pretty healthy to us, you know, nothing major. So we just work on little things that might come up, might come up or things that we see that he might not have issues with, but that we can say, hey, we can work on some mobility here or some stability here just to make a move better. And so when he's training, he doesn't run into any injuries um, or, or anything that may come up that down the line where he says, hey, now, you know, now I feel something in my ankles or my hips, you know? So we just kind of look, see how the whole body looks movement wise, you could stand up um, and then kind of break it down from there. And then we talk to the trainers as well. And we come up with a whole program. So if there's anything, you know, he might come in, he says, hey, this is what I want to work on or this is where he needs to, you know, we want to get him to a certain thing, or if it's gaining weight or gaining speed, gaining power, that's what we're looking at. And then as he progresses through the program, you know, different weeks, he might feel different things based on the training he's doing. So that's what we're looking at each time he comes in, just making sure everything looks good and that we can prevent any injuries from happening. I got a little kid picture you never had a Oh, I had a little cut, bro. I'm not showing them that picture either, bro. That's foul. Can you get that on camera? No, no, no. Don't do that, bro. Please don't do that, bro. At least show, I'm, I'm going to show y'all one. I'm going to show y'all one. I'm going to show y'all a little JB, bro. Because he's going to show the worst ones. Now I'm going to show my favorite one. Which one? The one you on the bike? Nah, that's a bad one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good pick, bro. <laughs> That's a valid this pick, Yeah, I'm good. How are you? How's everything? I'm good. How are everything you? Good. Yes, sir. You, you look NBA ready. You look like you're NBA ready. <laughs> trying to feed it. Are you to excited? Support. I am. Yeah. How, how many days till til, til the big day? Uh, we got about a month and a half now, so we're ready to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's gonna go quicker than you think. Oh yeah. But um, I know we have your chain that we're working on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're excited. Everyone in the in the factory is like super pumped to be making your chain. Yeah. So. They did all their research, they're excited, they're excited to be part of the process, and uh, I was trying to have it ready this week, but I think we're probably next week, we'll have it ready, mm -hmm. and uh, so that way you're, you're, you're rocking it on draft night. Oh, good, I can't wait. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think you're gonna love, I'm excited to show it to you. Yeah. Because I, I think when you see the finished product, you're gonna be floored. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. Yeah. You're gonna love it. I can't wait. But like, even with this, we take it a step further, you want to have a Bible, but this one opens up and has every page oh, of the Bible has all the on the pages inside. In it. Okay. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, it is. I really like this. Smaller cross pieces. Smaller cross pieces? Yeah, like this top one up here, I kind of like this one. Uh-huh. Yeah, we can do something like that. Just like something more everyday that you yeah, can wear. I like that a lot, actually. Stones. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice one right here. Yeah, that was gorgeous. Yeah. Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that's second contract money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice one. New chain with a cross on it. Uh, real subtle, real light. Um, but I mean, again, just in, in continuing to grow my faith and, and, you know, as I move along and, and continue that journey, um, you know, I felt like this piece. You know, it was really special as I'm starting that and continuing to grow that. So, you know, I saw it, it caught my eye. Again, real subtle, everyday type of one that I could wear. Um, and again, representing how I'm growing my faith, you know, in relationship with God. That you could, when Put you're traveling, you're, you're good. Yeah, thank you. Need that. Appreciate yes, it. Sir, thank you. Always, always a pleasure when oh, you come man. through. Always. I'm excited to see you on draft night. <laughs> you can sh actually shake commissioner's hand this year, or they, oh. they're not doing that. I think I think I might get to oh, shake his good. hand. So. All right, good. Yeah, looking good. forward that, to that, it. That, you only get to do this once, so One enjoy time. it. Yeah. One time. For sure. Thank you. All right, thank you. Appreciate you guys coming through. Take Appreciate care. It. Nice to see you again.
So you've got a busy day tomorrow. You got um, morning you're gonna work out with Luke. You guys are gonna watch a little bit of film after. Nice. Yeah. Film. Nice. Thought you'd like that. And then um, from there, you're gonna go to Snay again, who did the gotcha. uh, ultrasound today. Gotcha. Um, and then you have the Team Zoom. Hi, I'm Drew Gross. I'm an NBA agent at Rock Nation, and I represent Jason Preston. No, I, I think uh, you know in the agent agent business, it's you know if you're if you get in with a guy when everyone already knows about him and, and the whole world knows about him, you're probably late. Um, so yeah, whether it's you know AAU, high school, um, or you know right when they get to college, I think that, that's a time where a lot of it you know starts up. Um, and you know obviously in basketball, it, it becomes a little easier because the top you know, 50 kids in the country. Most people already know, you know, before they get to high school, I mean, while they're in high school. Um, you know, there's lists on different ESPN, different sites, so a lot of people are tracking all those guys. While I was recruiting Jason, actually, we hopped on a Zoom call with his aunt. Uh, his aunt became his guardian once his, his mother, unfortunately, passed. And she, was, she lives in Jamaica, and she was living in Jamaica at the time. Um, so we hopped on the Zoom with her. Um, I think she felt like, she, did, she did, wasn't going to get into, you know, who knows this about basketball, this, that, or the other thing. It was more about who's going to look out for Jason and who's really going to care for Jason. Um, and I think fortunately she felt that she was going to get that with us. Um, and, you know, she had told us that Jason, his love for basketball was actually born in New York because his, his mom was living here at the time. And you know they're they're Jamaican. His mother was Jamaican, and Patrick Ewing was you know on the Knicks at the time, and that was the thing to do. You know the garden was on fire, um, so they were watching every game when they were living in New York, and uh, just just to hear that the birth of you know Jason's love for the game, that you know he's I think Jason loves basketball more than anyone I've ever seen in my life. Um, kind of the inception was was here, and when she found out that we were going to be doing our pre-draft in New York City. Um, you know, it was just kind of a nice moment, and she was really excited about it. Um, and you know, when she came here, I think it was kind of like, wow, when when Jason was, you know, an infant, this is this is where it kind of, in a way, started. And now he's here, training for the NBA draft. Um, pretty remarkable. Well, hey man, this is you know we're going to Chicago in a few days, so this is what we've been working towards. I just can't wait, uh, really, to see you out there. So. It's been, uh, you, you've been awesome just to work with. Like I know for me, you are the reason, a guy like you was the reason why I ever, even ever wanted to be an agent, you know? Like to be able to help someone that's kind of gone through the things you've gone through. And uh, you know, I know I said to you pretty recently, like you didn't come this far to only come this far. So this is really just the start of, of your next chapter. And uh, the past few chapters of your, of, you know, your journey have been pretty freaking incredible. So this has been awesome just to be part of um, for me. And I um, appreciate all, all, you, all the work you're doing. And I can't wait for it to show. Uh, Mr. Gross, likewise, you know, all the little things you do, you know, the drives, that drives that I don't know if everybody would do. Um, you know, just, 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 just all the little things. You know, I appreciate you, first of all, just believing in me through this whole process. Um, but, you know, I'm tired of, you know, talking about, I'm just excited, you know, to actually perform and go out there in the combine. I'm just really excited for this journey. Let's go do it. <laughs> Jason, everything he's gone through, I think he's tasted success. And then where some people get comfortable, and, and feel good about himself. He's trying to break that next barrier and see what's next, how far he could take this thing. Um, and I think he's taken it way further than anyone imagined at this point. And the journey's just beginning for him.